Alright, how you guys doing today, or tonight actually, Tech Reviews 135, and um, I'm not really going to be doing a review over anything, but just a, a question and answer type thing. So, a question I've gotten a lot is, well, how do I download, how do I change, sorry, how do I change the download location for Google Chrome? I don't want it to save on my solid state drive. I want to change that. Well, this is actually, I one, I appreciate you asking the question. And two, it's actually a pretty simple task to perform. A lot of people don't know how to do this. But what you want to do is when you're in Chrome here, you want to go up to the top right, right under the exit bar in Windows 7. Uh, same with Windows XP and Linux. Um, there's going to be a customizing control, Google Chrome. It's going to have three bars. If you're using an older version, um, it's going to have a wrench icon. And you want to click that. And you want to go down to here where it says Settings. Once you click Settings, when you're in it, at least, you want to scroll down, and where it says Show Advanced Settings, you want to go ahead and click that. And scroll down a little more, and right under Languages, you'll see where it says Downloads. And this is where you change your download location to, so you click Change right there. Say you've got a couple hard drives you don't want to download on your solid state, or you just go into Computer, and you change what disk it saves to, and what folder it saves to. That's pretty easy. And this checkbox under here is pretty self-explanatory. When you check that, it'll ask where you want to save each file before it downloads it. Which I don't use. I only use one hard drive, so I don't really worry about having to switch where it downloads or having it to ask. But if you set your download location, but, you know, this is just a special case if you want to change it. So, well, that's going to wrap up this little tutorial video. I know it wasn't too long like some of my other videos have been the past that I've done on computers. But um, again, thanks for asking questions. I always take questions, and I'll always respond to them with the correct answer every time. And uh, I do appreciate that. So uh, thanks for watching.